Uh, hello, boys and girls. Uh, here is another episode of Cyberpunk Analysis. Here, I will show you a situation where I had to find a bunch of skull people, dangerous people. Uh, this is the main duty quest where you have to take over the clouds. If before I showed the situations where I kinda sucked but managed to succeed at the end, here I ate shit like 10 times. Uh, I won't show you every time I died, but I will show some notable ones. Uh, here is the first situation where you are on the roof and you can see like the first guy on the balcony. I decided to, you know, <laughs> like every fucking time I kind of try to start uh, with a, a stealth approach, which never fucking works, but you know, I am keep trying. Uh, so I decided to jump uh, on this guy's head with a knife, uh, which is double stupid because as I remember, I don't even have a perk to do so and <laughs> I just... I just miss him, and she's like, okay, good start, looks like my type of playstyle, just blow the guy up, uh, then, you know, some, uh, yeah, like, I panicked, you know, started to back up, and here I am flying from a giant skyscraper, uh, I died. In another attempt, I killed the guy quietly, and uh, here I decided to, again to use my uh, insane stealth skills and get inside this room where there are two or three more bodyguards. But, you know, I'm not that good at stealth, so I decided to do the shock attack and uh, started to throw grenades as usual. It started relatively okay, like I almost killed this first guy, but then this tough guy started to chase me. Uh, again, in my infinite wisdom, I <laughs> I jumped off the skyscraper. Uh, can I call this thing a skyscraper? Maybe not, like the, from the building, you know what I'm saying. Relatively successful attempt and uh, the situation ended up being quite comical and upsetting. So here he throws two grenades, one he failed and the second one was... Uh, more successful and I didn't pay attention to it too much because this is like a electricity or a shock grenade or whatever. So like I didn't die because of explosion so I was like oh okay nice but as you can see it started to suck the life out of me pretty fast and yeah I didn't have enough time to heal. Uh, so here we can take a new lesson, lesson number four, rule number four, five. Look at your HP. Because if I would heal faster, I would probably survive, but here it was just too late. So here at the successful attempt, I spawn already in the fight actually, which is quite inconvenient. But at least I know what's going on, so I'm aware of my surroundings, I know where can I go and where I cannot go. Here I know about this ladder, I go back to the roof and they don't follow me, which is a good thing. And now I can kinda abuse the AI, I don't know, like, I no, they, they can, right? They can, I've seen them, they can use the ladder. But uh, here they decided not to for some reason, so here I was like, okay, you, you idiot, I'll just shoot you in the head. Uh, they shoot me back, so like I, I, I decided to keep doing that, but yeah, remember, I know how to play this game well, so I, I fall on my own explosion. <laughs> fucking 1 HP, what the fuck, how did I survive that? Uh, uh, s survive this, you know, <laughs> run back. Uh, but the guy is dead. Okay, two more to deal with. Just use grenades as much as possible, they are great. Again here, remember the first rule, use your cyber things and die? I don't remember dying, oh shit, okay, that's this, this is not the successful one, fuck. Okay, this is the run. It basically goes pretty much the same as the previous one, except the, the dying part. Just use everything on the first guy. Here I got lucky though, because for some reason the third guy, he decided to, he decided to stay in the room. So I basically had like two 1v1s, which is way easier to deal with. This is the first guy I dealt with, and the second one I decided not to even bother going inside, so I was just shooting him uh, through the window, which you can do. This window doesn't break, but the bullets still go through. As you can see, I can... Like, I'm missing a lot, yeah, but here, like, I am dealing the damage. So use this. Also, like, I guess, be aware that uh, you can shoot through windows despite them not breaking. Yeah, then he goes out and uh, that's basically a job done for me. But, as you probably remember, there are two more. 
I didn't record my first attempt, but uh, I got killed because of this guy in red. He uses a katana and has this dash thing where he just teleports in front of your face and boom, he's cutting it. The second attempt went much smoother. I started with all I have. So activated Sun Deviston, stunned them. I was like, okay, let's deal with this quick. But, yeah. Didn't go as planned, they are tough. So now, here, I have the katana guy and the shotgun guy in a small room. Bad news for me, so I'm running around with 14 HP and then here, boom, I can see the open door. Let's use it, let's not fight in this congested space. And here, the tables have turned, because now they are in a shitty position, two of them in a door frame. Put a grenade there. So stun the shotgun guy, he's laying around, just blast him. And then the second, yeah, as I can say, he can just teleport in front of you. In a blink of an eye, you are dead, but you have to be close. So here, because I'm on this, like, not balcony, but like, on this place, there is, you can jump down, that's what I did. And now, with his melee weapon, he can do nothing, except burning. Yeah, finish him off with grenades and shots. And that's it, that's the job done. Except there is one more person to deal with. She wants to be the leader of the clouds now, we didn't agree to that. And she basically lied to us in inviting these other two guys, you endangering me, killing me actually. So I told her right that that wasn't, you know, the, the best now. decision in her life and I told her to leave. Uh, and she started to threaten me after I just killed like, what, five, six, seven people with skulls, like extremely powerful ones. And she still decided to attack me. A uh, bad idea. That was a bit of an overkill, but you know what, I'm not taking any chances. Maybe she is also powerful and I had enough of dying in one playthrough. And that's, boys and girls, how you can deal with hard enemies even on the low level. Well, kinda low level. Here, rules number one and three work like a clockwork and led to some amazing mad skill gameplay. So, utilize them in your playthroughs and then tell me in the comments how you use them. Yee.